Next to face the Sharks, a pair of entrepreneurs hoping to get good grades. G'day, I'm Hugh and this is Richard and we're from Nexus Notes. Today we're seeking a $300,000 investment for a 7.5% stake in our business. Nexus Notes is an online marketplace that allows students to buy and sell their course notes. There's huge demand for notes in a highly competitive education space. Every student is trying to get the edge on the other one. What better way to learn than from the gun student who's gone through the course just a couple of semesters before you? So Naomi, you've gone to class every lecture you've attended. You've written fantastic course notes. I have. I think I've still got them. Exactly. But you've typed them up. No, in my day we used a pen. OK. <laughs> well, these days they're typed up. <laughs> and you submit them to our site. We look at your notes and we approve them for sale. Steve, you've had a few beers at the uni bar this semester. <laughs> Today. Yeah. <laughs> so you're running a little bit behind on your classwork and you're a little bit underdone coming into your exams. So you come onto our site and you search for notes. You find the notes for your exact course and they're $35. That's the sale price of all notes on our marketplace. Half of that revenue would go to Naomi, the other half would come to Nexus Notes. And Steve, if you're not happy, we'll give you 100% of your money back. We launched in June and on the back of that, we've seen strong sales at universities in both Australia and New Zealand. That's given us the confidence to take the plunge and we both quit our jobs and we're now doing Nexus Notes full time. We need your money to supercharge the growth of our business. We know that we have a proven business model here that we can take global, but we need your help. So just to reiterate, $300,000 for 7.5% of your company. That's correct. Now, I like the business model. It sounds like you have to educate people to the idea. So that's what we call a blue ocean strategy. There's no blood in the water, no competitors. Tell us a bit more about how easy or difficult that's been in this market. This semester, many of our top uploaders are generating almost $1,000 in sales per month off their notes. And next year, we predict that our best uploader will make $10,000 in commission on their notes alone. I can see that those who are uploading, great for them because they can subsidise their hex. And it's something they've already done. It's an asset that they have. But what about all of the other ones who are downloaders? Because actually, you're increasing the education burden on them and their cost. Yeah, I mean, let's not forget, I mean, on top of course fees, you've got textbooks. Yeah, and, yeah. Um, you know, academics are pretty good at charging for those. You can pay up to $300 for a good law textbook. So $35 for a set of notes. The whole course distilled into, say, 60 pages. That's just 60 pages of gold. The universities, do they see this as a really good thing? Are they concerned about this? Are they embracing it? What's your anecdotal feedback on how they're viewing it? At the end of the day, the universities want to encourage anything that facilitates learning. And if this is going to encourage students to take more notes, then it's a good thing. We've got a very open relationship with universities. We're not here to wreck the system. The education industry as a whole is fairly ripe for disruption. And so a really innovative technical solution like this Hopefully, it could do really well. How much money have you guys invested today, of your own money? $50,000. Right, which is predominantly website build. Yeah. You've outsourced the building of this project? Yeah. Yes. So, Richard and I, we're hustlers. We're not um, technical people. We have two other people in our team. Um, one is very sound technically, who built this site. And... So at what level are in your team? Uh, at this stage, they're a co-founder and an employee. All right, so, so there's four people in the shareholding structure? Uh, there's a, a few more in the shareholding structure. Well, let's get through that now then, shall we? So who's in the shareholding structure? Um, there's Hugh and Richard. Yes. And you've got how much each? 60% between us. So 30% each? Uh, Hugh has slightly more. It's more about sort of... Right, seeing as we might be investing in the shareholder structure, could we try and understand what it is? So how many percent so, do you have, Hugh? I have 48%. 48%, of the 48%. so you have 12% then? Mm -hmm. It's not quite a 30-30 split you might you might get from that initial comment. It's it's not, no. I'm trying to understand who is what. That's actually quite important. No, absolutely. Um, we have the two other guys and a couple of angel investors. So I want to understand the tech guy, how invested he is in this business. 
Um, so here we're coming in for 3%. So the tech guy's 3%? Yep. Yep. And the other person? 12.5%. Uh, and the angels? 15%. 15%. So who, who else is in this structure? We've just been accepted into Australia's leading accelerator program. What does that mean? So essentially they give you a co-working space. It's three months here in Sydney and then two months in Silicon Valley where they take you on a roadshow to the US investors. Is that start, mate? Yes. And getting how much investment? Seven and a half percent. For what? 50,000. So 7.5% for 50k. Yeah. So if we invest today, we get to invest at 4 mil. Start might get to invest at one-sixth of that. Yes. Does that make sense? Hugh Minson and Richard Horden Gibbings came into the tank seeking $300,000 for a 7.5% share in their business, Nexus Notes. Their pitch was going well until they revealed that another investor has been allowed to buy the same sized share for only $50,000. Does that make sense? Well, I think it's depending on how you want to value this business, which is obviously a subjective. When I, when I start, might have valued it at $670,000. Yes. So that's what it's valued at. Well, that's their valuation, yes. Which you've accepted. So it's your valuation. Well, I suppose you've got to put a valuation on what they're bringing to the table as well. So we obviously value the connections that they'll be providing for us and, and the, the guidance. What about what we're doing. bringing to the table? Well, we value that as well. That's why we're here. Not, not, new, not, 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 not nearly as much. <laughs> no, not. What is it that you think they'll bring that we don't to the tune of 600% more? I don't know if I'd quantify it like that, I suppose. <laughs> um, There's some course notes you can buy that might help you understand mathematics <laughs> that, that actually might be really good for you. Regardless of what investment has come from the Accelerator program previously, if you were getting in at this level, you would still do very well out of it in six months' time. Can I tell you, it, it, it's rude. It's actually rude. You're trying to sell it to us now for four million bucks, and you're selling it to them for one sixth the price. Which means we're instantly devalued. It's actually rude. We immediately lose like that. You put us in a down round straight away. So how about I give you three hundred thousand dollars now on, on a six hundred seventy thousand dollar valuation? There's the offer. You got ten seconds, or I'm out. Would we be able to have some time to consider that offer? I... $300,000. At, at the start my valuation. For 7.5%. Yeah, I've become like a 60% shareholder or something. We, would, we wouldn't be able to do it. I'm out. Thanks very much, guys. So for obvious reasons, there is no way on earth as any business person could possibly be happy with taking a haircut to that level. I'm out. Sorry guys, I like what you're trying to do there, but I'm out. Thank you for doing us out. You must respect your investors the same way you do each other. It's about trust, it's about having a shared sense of purpose, and it's about the future. I'm out. I think, as you've heard here today, the greatest issue in some sense is, you know, you've invested 50,000, you've raised a, an additional investment at 675, and you're asking us four million. On the cynical side, it says you didn't want to sell today. On the other side, it says you're probably either undervaluing us and what we can bring to the party, or we've been a bit naive in the way you valued it. I think you'll be the success you deserve, but it'll be without me. I'm out. Thank you. Thank you very much. Good luck, gentlemen. 
Good luck with start, mate, guys. Thanks, Thank guys. You. Thank you. Thanks. So, why don't you tell us how you really feel, Stephen? Just... That was rude. They were pretty vicious. It was a bit of a tough day at the office, but for us, the experience was very worthwhile, and we certainly didn't um, undervalue what they could bring to the table. And, you know, I don't think we were enabled with the valuation. We're still going to go over to the US in April and really try and raise that same amount of money. Um, today just wasn't our day. I happened to have been in a presentation only two months ago where I was told that the grey market for trading notes in the US is between 100 and 300 US dollars. That's what students are paying to get each other's notes. And I think it's a great business. You can't value it at four, and then four weeks later value it at 600 and want an investment from us. No.